He was doing exactly what inspectors general are supposed to be doing. Presidents don't like this. They don't like somebody with the disinfectant of daylight exposing what's going on in the government. That's the reason for that statute. Theoretically, he'd be given 30 days notice. In that time period, he'd go to the Congress and say, here's what I found, here's why they're firing me. The Congress can enjoin the firing in that time period. Right Now, they have violated their own law, a law that then Senator Obama uh, supported. That's right. In my opinion, he hasn't even validly uh, been fired and still has the job, even though they took away his office, his staff, his email, his phone, and his support. And Mr. Walton, we should point out that your job, I mean, if our viewers don't understand, the Inspector General, as the judge was saying, your job is to look for any type of waste in government funds. Waste, any fraud, and abuse. Fraud. Exactly. So that it wasn't only with uh, Mayor Johnson of Sacramento, who's an Obama supporter, um, in that uh, AmeriCorps program, but you found something else that was suspicious in, with in the City University of New York, New York and AmeriCorps program. $80 million went to them on the AmeriCorps program when we found out and discovered uh, that the AmeriCorps that they, they have a good program they have a program to get teachers into the inner city schools okay but they were getting the teachers in they were training them uh, they were signing them up and then they would say to them by the way if you want some more money as an education award of forty seven hundred and twenty five dollars a year uh, sign up this card to be an AmeriCorps member that's not the purpose of AmeriCorps AmeriCorps is for the purpose of meeting unmet needs CUNY was already meeting those needs. Judge, what about it? Did Barack Obama break the law by firing him without cause? Absolutely. Not even a close cause. Uh, not even a close call. In my opinion, and Jerry knows the law as well or better than I do. Not better. He has a, he has a <laughs> cause of action which if he walked into a federal district court in the District of Columbia, his firing would be enjoined until the, the investigations that he was conducting were continued and the president would be forced to state a reason. The president has to have a reason, not it's time for you to move on, which is basically what they said for you, but some sort of for-cause reason. Right. The concept that the president runs everything in the executive branch is an antiquated concept. Without inspectors general, presidents and the people that work for him, for him could get away with and their supporters could get away with the most abominable fraud and abuse. Sure. These are the people who expose yeah. them. Of our money. Walton, <laughs> Inspector General, we just have a couple seconds left. Sure. I, it, it, we're seeing laws broken by our president. We're seeing laws broken by senators left and right. I feel like I'm living in anarchy. Is this a different world than it was 15 months ago? It's been a slippery slope. Well, I, I, all I can say is I had no problems uh, uh, up to the beginning of this year. And I would also say is I could have easily gotten out of this and just resigned, but I couldn't look myself in the mirror if I did so. This is important that the public know what's going on. Thank and and we do invite someone from the White House to come and give their side of the story as well. I'd love to hear it. I'd love yeah, to hear we it. Would we, too. All, we all would love to hear it, and, and we do invite them because we want to be fair and balanced here. And thank you for sharing your side of the story. Thank you for having me. Thank all you right. so much.